Hello, Mr. Andy here. Uh, we're going to continue on with our assembly, and now we're going to look at the sheave, which is the center of the assembly or the hub. Um, and this part confuses people a little bit, so I want to point out a couple features. There are two separate center points. The upper center point is the center of all these outer races. The lower center point is the center of the hub here. Uh, that allows us to will allow us to transmit vertical motion from circular motion when this thing spins. Um, and so we're going to begin by revolving this outer profile around that upper center point. So let's take a look at the model as it progresses here. I have the first sketch done already. I'm ready to revolve. So let's do that. We're going to create a revolved base and hit OK. Now I need to then produce those circular features that are going to stick out. I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to go normal too. And I'm going to draw a circle uh, below the origin there because it's a lower center point. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a dimension uh, from the origin to the circle of 0.875. I'm also going to vertically relate these two features. And then I'm going to get the diameter in for that circle. And that diameter is 3.75. I'm fully defined now. And I need to extrude that. And I'm just going to tug it out here for just a second. Um, the dimension for the end of this face is actually from the back. So I'm going to offset from surface, to pick that back surface, and then I'm going to reverse direction and put in our overall thickness of 2.5. Okay, So that's going to give me 2.5 inches from the back face out to that front, and we'll hit OK. Um, so there's that inner piece. Now I can uh, cut a hole here, so let's get that done real quick. We'll do a circle. Same center, we'll dimension that, 2.375, and we'll cut that through all. All right, um, we have a pocket on this front face. I'm not going to cut that, I'm going to let you figure that out, so I'm going to leave that blank. But there is a pocket on this front face that you need to deal with. I do want to do the threaded holes, so let me pop this back up really quick. There is a threaded hole here and another threaded hole here. It would be a good candidate for a mirror, uh, so we need to get the first one in. And it's on a 45 degree angle. Well, as you recall, uh, we can't hole wizard onto a curved surface like that, at least not reliably. Uh, so I'd like you to create a plane. Um, so let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Let me minimize this. So I need a plane tangent of 45 degrees. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on temporary axes. And I'm going to create a plane here. So we're going to go to reference plane. I'm going to pick the axis. And then I'm going to pick the top plane. And I'm going to put an angle in of 45 degrees. And you can see I'm creating a plane now on a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hit OK. And I want to stretch that plane out so we can see how it intersects. And now I need a perpendicular plane tangent to that surface. So I'm going to go to the plane tool one more time. I am already have selected that plane. I'm going to pick this surface and it will give me that perfect tangent plane there. I just have to hit OK. Make sure it says perpendicular here, by the way. All right, I'm going to select that surface. Then I'm going to initiate hole wizard. Uh, we're going to do a tapped hole. This is a 5 8 11. And it's through or up to next would be the best. And we'll go to positions. And I'm going to go normal 2 here. I want to select this plane again for my face. There we go. Um, and I'm going to go normal too. 
and let's see if we can drop it right there. And then I just have a positioning dimension. It's on axis, so we just drop it on that temporary axis. And then we'll do a dimension from that point to the front edge of the part. Watch out, don't grab the edge of the plane of point 0.625. And that gets us fully defined. That point is on axis and it is 0.625 back. Make sure you're fully defined. We'll hit OK. Let's go normal too. I'm sorry, isometric. Uh, you can see that plane over there. Now we just need to mirror it to the other side. So we'll do a, a mirror feature around the right plane. And hit OK. There's those tapped holes. Okay. Uh, very good. You should be able to finish this part up without too much trouble. Good luck and enjoy.